Oh, it's so hard trying to juggle two as if you've got three. What's kicking everyone? <laughs> We're here to film a video about how to make a thoracic mobility tool with two tennis balls and some sports tape. You can use masking tape as, uh, sorry, not masking tape. You can lose, use electrical tape as well. Anthony and I were having a debate about electrical tape versus sports tape, and obviously my way is better. So sports tape, get onto it. Excuse all the R's and ums in the video. I say that a lot, but Ant will edit those out, so <laughs> you won't have to worry about it. Um, uh, 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 um. The first thing we're going to do is create an anchor point on each of the tennis balls. So you do that. It is by <clears throat> wrapping a piece of tape around. Now, I'm a perfectionist. And for that reason, I take my time and I make sure everything is perfectly lined up. All right. If you don't have OCD, don't worry about it. But the point is that you need something to anchor the other pieces of tape to. So there's a very small overlap. I mean, only three or four centimeters. You don't have to do two or three laps around. Just you know, one's enough. All right. Now that we've created those two anchor points, the next thing we do is connect these two tennis balls together like so. From here, I then line it up. I connect the two balls together like so, create a bit of tension, and I pull them together. And so on the return, I'm pulling that tape nice and tight. Right? You can use your thumb and push that down a little bit like so. So I'm pulling with, I'm pulling the tape, creating tension, and I'm also feeding or pushing that down. And once that is done, finish that off. Okay. Okay. So step one, create the anchor points on both balls. Step two, loop the two balls together and create a bit of tension in between. So you shouldn't be able to pull them apart. There shouldn't be a gap. The next thing we're going to do is create another anchor point. So I'll start by placing that tape right there, like so. I'll then feed it through. Now I don't want to distort, I don't want to distort that loop. So I'm pulling and I'm creating tension, but I'm not distorting that the second step or the tape that connects the two. And I'll tear that off. Okay, so that's where I'm at so far. From here, what I'm then going to do is from this anchor point that I've created through the middle of the two balls, I attach that in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop around nice and straight. Now again, I'll feed it through. There might be a little bit of a gap, which is fine. Go all the way around and I'll tear this tape off in the middle. Like so. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now what I'm going to do is just go around vertically and tape all of those points together. So essentially you can't see any more of that tennis ball. Mind you, I'll be starting in the middle. Okay, so the piece of tape starts in there and finishes in there. There's one more step to finishing off this mobility uh, tool. But I mean, look at, how, look at how perfect that is. Just admiring my work. Everything's nice and straight. The tennis ball's covered. Still a little bit of tension. You can see those points that are raised. That's fine. We're going to tape around those. So the last step to this 
is basically taping off all of those loose ends. So what we're going to do is place some tape through the middle. And what we're going to do is pull everything in. Now, not too tight. Again, you don't want to distort the tape. But the reason we're doing this is in the previous step, we finished, except for that one piece, we finished all of our length right in the middle. And so by going around, we're just going to tie off all of those loose pieces of tape. So let's just go two laps all the way around. Line it up. Okay. And so apart from that one piece right there, which is driving me crazy, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what it should look like. Oh no. I'm going to lose sleep over this. I can't deal. <laughs> but that's what it should look like. All right. So there'll be some more videos on how to use this thoracic mobility tool. But uh, this is exactly what it looks like. So get onto it. If you can't work it out, shoot me a DM and I'll do my best to, to explain, <laughs> re explain the steps or help, help you where you're getting stuck. But this is what it is. So uh, get onto it and enjoy.